What's up YouTube and welcome to a new video. Now on this channel, the AMG GTR is known for its extremely high depreciation rate in its first years. After all, it usually leads the ranks on the various depreciation leaderboards. Yet, this also means that after they took the initial hit, they offer extremely good value for money. And all of this makes it really interesting to have a look at the AMG GTR market right now. Used car prices have been on the rise, fueled by a decrease in supply and increase in demand. Supply mainly has been scarce by limited production following a shortage in the chip sector. And I'm sure you've seen this in the news lately. If we look then at the demand side, then we can see that it has been elevated for several reasons. But a key driver seems to be the pandemic. It didn't affect everyone equally, and the ones which were not affected managed to save up a bit. All of this and more I covered in this video right over here. And you can check out that video by clicking on the pop-up banner right over here. All right, we know that the used car market is hot, very hot, but is it so hot that it could offset the steepest depreciation curve which featured on the channel, the one of the AMG GTR? That is what we will find out in this video. And even if you are not in the market for an AMG GTR, I still think that it is really interesting to see how these prices which are subject to such a steep depreciation curve reacted to the market uptick. As always, we start with a market overview. The graph over here shows today's market. We have the model year on the horizontal axis and the price in US dollars on the vertical axis. We are then also looking at the US market. You also need to know that each car is displayed by a bubble and that the market is split by roof type and model type. In blue we have the Coupe Pros, in orange the Roadsters, and in green the normal GTRs. Finally then, you can see that there are several black axes in the graph, and these black axes represent the median price point for that model type and model year. Alright, let's have a look at the numbers. First, we can see that today's market is really small. There are only 45 cars for sale. And this of course makes it tricky to apply any kind of quantitative technique. Nevertheless, we can see that prices vary a lot between the model years and the various model types. Higher mileage base models go for $120,000, while new cars can go for $210,000. And this already signals that this market has a steep depreciation curve. When we look then at the Roadster and the Pro market, we can see the same large price variation. You can find 2020 Roadsters already for $180,000, but prices can go up till $230,000. The pro version starts a bit higher at $190,000 and can go up till $250,000. Now I already mentioned this in some other videos, but I'm really surprised about how mixed the prices are at the top end of the market. You can get a normal GTR, a Roadster or even a pro for more or less the same price. If you had $200,000 to spare, which one would you go for? Let me know in the comments. We will continue in the meantime with the price development over time. Did prices follow the market trend or are the idiosyncratic forces so strong over here that prices continue to decline? Let's have a look at the data, but before we do so, please support the channel by smashing that like button. Thank you. The graph over here shows the development of the median price point for the different markets. We have now the date on the horizontal axis and the price still on the vertical axis. And look at that, those prices look nothing like the market trend. Every single sub-market of the AMG GTR market saw a price decrease between March 2020 and May 2021. Moreover, it seems that during the last 8 months, the decrease accelerated for the base models. And this is the exact opposite of what happened in most used car markets. The coupes dropped with $12,000 or 7%, and the roadsters with $16,500 or 7.7%. Yet, these prices are not fully statistically confirmed, and this means that they could be the result of chance. Also, it is remarkable that we can't see the same decreases in all market segments. Prices over here didn't move at all. So what on earth is going on in the AMG GTR market? Let's dig a bit deeper in the data. We start with the coupe base market because it is a certain sub-segment of this market segment, which is driving the prices down. The graph over here shows the median price development for each model year, and it only covers the base coupe models. We can see immediately that the drop is coming from the 2020 and 2019 cars. Between March 2020 and now, they lost respectively $10.7 thousand dollars 
and $24.6 thousand dollars or 6.2 and 9 percent yet as you will see soon we can't really trust this orange line over here we have too few observations for that model year for 2018 cars we can see a very stable development prices didn't really move during last year all right so what is actually happening here let's have a look at the raw data over here we have again the model year to price relationship and each date is marked with a different color. And we can see now that the cars in model year 2020 simply decreased because the new cars took their first depreciation hit and no new cars were added to the market. Let me explain. If we look first at the blue dots only, then we can see that these are all priced above $180,000. One year ago, this market segment did then also mainly consist out of new cars. Six months later, so in September 2020, we can see that the orange dots start at $160,000. Yet, at the same time, you can see that there is still a significant portion priced above $180,000. And this difference what you see here is the difference between the used and the new cars. Now if we look then at the green dots, so today's market, then we can see that they are priced at the bottom of the market one year ago, or even below that. In today's market we do then also have only used cars for sale. Plenty of used cars have only a few hundred miles and are therefore priced quite high. Cars with 5 to 6 thousand miles are priced around $170,000. It are then also these cars which face the forecasted depreciation hit of around $30,000. Now as you can see for model year 2019 we have too few data points. There are only 3 cars for sale in today's market. So that doesn't tell us so much about the current values. For 2018 cars we have enough data and there you can see that the market hardly moved. But this by itself is also remarkable. After all, most of the cars which are analyzed on my channel saw an increase of 7 to 8%. Could it be then so that 2018 cars were driven a lot and that this dampened the price increase? Let's have a quick look at the depreciation per thousand miles before we look at the roadsters. The graph over here has now the mileage on the horizontal axis and the price bill on the vertical axis. Each date is again displayed with a different color. First, you can see that the blue and the orange lines are extremely similar. The market between March and September 2020 didn't change so much for 2018 cars. However, the current market looks slightly different as the median mileage increased but not really enough to play a significant role. You can then also see that it's quite difficult to say that the green dots clearly lay above the other dots. Moreover, you can see that for all dates, the shaded area is really large. And this means that there is a lot of uncertainty in the market. You can then also see that for certain mileages, prices fluctuate a lot. Now, according to the green depreciation curve, the average depreciation per thousand miles driven for 2018 cars lays currently at $1,455 or 1%. And this is a good score. But like I mentioned, you need to interpret this number with some care. All right, after all of those graphs, I think it is time that we do a little summary. On a total level, we saw that prices for the AMG GTR base model decreased. Yet, things are not always what they seem. We namely saw that this decrease is caused by the new cars which gathered their first miles. The used car market was very stable and values didn't change over there. However, this is also a bit of a surprising finding. Most used car prices surged. 2018 cars are on the flattest part of the depreciation curve for this market. However, based on the data, it seems to be so that the depreciation effect was more or less as strong as any value increase coming from the market trend. Hence, prices didn't move. But now then, does this also go for the Roadster market? There we saw a similar price decrease as what we saw in the base coupe market. I checked the data for the Roadster market and the reason for the price decrease is the same. A few cars took their first depreciation hit and are now priced under $190,000. So what about the pro market then? Values over there seem to be really stable. Now because this model is still really new, we only have cars from model year 2020. So let's have a look at the mileage to price relationship. There namely could be something going on in this market. You can see now that in March 2020, so the blue dots, most cars were priced around $215,000. Yet, you can see that the mileage in some cases really deteriorated the value as the cheapest pro was for sale at $180,000. 
six months later. So at the orange dots, most cars are still for sale at $215,000. Yet the two cars with around 4,300 miles were priced between $180,000 and $200,000. And this is exactly in the same price range as the cars with less than 1,000 miles in March 2020. Now in today's market, you guessed it, most cars are still priced at $215,000. Yet, we can see that it is important to look further than the movement in the median prices. In today's market, the median mileage is namely 2,500 miles, while this was zero in the previous timestamps. We can then also see that the higher mileage cars are way more expensive than before. In line with this, market supply also decreased a lot. It went from 27 to 7 cars, and with a potential increase in demand, this might have resulted in what is actually a price increase. However, as you can see, the data is extremely limited, so keep that in mind. And with that, we will wrap up and conclude. The AMG GTR market is a bit of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, the depreciation from new is enormous on these cars. It's one of the highest I've seen on the channel, and I believe that only the McLaren 720S topped it. Yet, once these GTRs took two years of depreciation, they start to offer great value for money. Compared to a similar H911 GT3, it's a lot cheaper, and compared to a 570S, it offers way more reliability. Nevertheless, this doesn't seem enough to drive prices up. For new non-pro cars, we saw that values decreased quite a bit. However, based on the limited data what we have, the decrease seems to be slightly less than what was originally estimated. But in the end, the trend of used car prices was not enough to offset the value decrease. For the older cars, the same line of reasoning goes, but over there the trend in used car prices was strong enough to offset any further price decrease. The older cars are of course on the flatter part of the depreciation curve, and this means that it is easier to offset any price decrease. And with that we arrive at the end of this video. Now if you like this data-driven way of analyzing car markets, but would have liked to see it for a different car, let me know down in the comment section for which car you would like to see an analysis. Once there are enough requests for a certain car, I will make a video about it. Also remember then to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get actually notified when your requested analysis goes live. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week for a new video.